check back in with Angela Kelly. Yeah, she's found some more folks that are making a difference in the valley. Good morning, Ange. Yeah, hey, good morning, everyone. We're joining you live from the Double Portion Soup Kitchen inside of St. Thomas Church in Menasha. Behind me, you can see the dining room where as many as 130 people will come today to have an 11.30 a.m. lunch. They've got bread on the menu. Let's head on into the kitchen where you've got volunteers working, slicing desserts, scooping up some peaches. And Sally, what are you working on over here? Well, I'm starting on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Because on occasion, someone doesn't like what we're having or they're allergic, so we always have peanut butter and jelly as a backup. Can I help you out a little bit? Oh, please do. Okay, so I'm going to help out Sally. And just so you all know, Sally got this started, helped get this started about a decade ago. Tell us about that. Sure. Uh, the kitchen here at St. Thomas had been remodeled, and we'd gotten our new six burner stove and three ovens. And um, it just seemed that instead of just doing soup, kitchen uh, uh, dinners for church events that it could uh, be used for another purpose and we weren't really sure what the need was in our community but decided to give it a go we put um, signs up in laundromats and hotels around the area and then that we would be having uh, a lunch one day a week then we um, uh, after that we um, it started to get really big because you only had what maybe about 20 people a day coming in to eat right? right right and then it starts to get bigger so you add more days you get more people right 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 and uh, the church here was very agreeable and other churches started joining in and sending volunteers and um, it grew and grew and grew until today we have as many as 130 people coming in to eat. Yeah, three times a week. And um, who in the community are you serving? We basically have three groups of people. Um, of course, there's people in immediate crisis, um, a problem with jobs or family problems where they need to have a meal. Um, and they'll come in for a short period of time and then we won't see them again. They've worked out their problems. Another group of people who come in are um, people who are uh, disabled in a certain way. And they would be on a fixed income, and they're here regularly. And then uh, another group, interestingly, is people who might be retired or they're just lonely mm -hmm. and they'll come in for camarader camaraderie with others. Mm -hmm. And I think what's really wonderful is they've seen a lot of these people who've received help here come back once they've kind of gotten back on their feet to give back. And we're going to tell you about some more of those stories uh, coming up in our next hour. Back to you guys.